part two on the wind here, breaking it down. So I started out with just kind of going into the importance of a really good, if you're going to go wind, the importance of a really good weather station. And, and by good, I mean not only the ability to track uh, all the data log points, but also to have quick transmission. So when it says three miles an hour right there, I know it's blowing three miles an hour pretty much within the last second and a half, two, three seconds. Um, that's important so you can track your production. Okay, so the wind turbine, you have a couple of choices. On the back of those wind turbines, you can run it DC, um, a DC line, or you can run uh, three-phase AC. Three-phase AC, the only reason why you're running that, that's just what it looks like. Do a close up on that. Three wires come out, and what it is is it's wild AC current. Um, the reason why we run a three phase is if you've got a turbine that's going to have a long run, meaning the wire is going to be run from a long, a long distance to your garage or wherever your control panel is. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money if you run DC. You're going to have basically like three, three four out um, aught uh, wire, which would be like thicker than this wire very expensive wire um, and uh, it's just not practical so what you do when you have these long runs is you convert these and you run three phase and a lot of them just sell them this way I bought mine with just three phase so that's the advantage of three phase so but because it's three phase wild AC um, this um, is converted through this rectifier I bought this also at Missouri Wind and Solar um, it's really cheap, 30 bucks. You can get them anywhere. What it does is it rectifies, it converts this three phase um, wild AC into usable DC, direct current. And then um, that will uh, allow you to then take that current and then grid tie it. In other words, send it directly to the grid or send it to your battery bank. In my case, I can. I have a transfer switch. You'll get into in a moment that I can direct it to go either way to the grid or to my battery bank. All right. So back on um, the wind. So any wind system, you're going to need um, obviously the turbine. You're going to need. Um, you're going to want a good weather station. You're going to want this kind of a disconnect box, one that you can disconnect it, or you can break it, meaning cross the wires be able to cross the wires and stop the turbine from spinning, which is good in high wind situations and um, uh, many other reasons. Okay, um, go moving on, we went through the rectifier, then the rectifier will rectify that in a DC current, and then that will, in this case, in my system, I've got this is my negative, is going to tie into my battery, my negative battery um, terminal. I use a bus bar. It just makes it a little bit easier, so I don't have 10,000 wires on my battery banks down here. Um, but basically, this ties to your negative on your battery terminal. And then, this is your positive, and this goes through a breaker, just in case of an uh, overcurrent situation. Um, it will break the current. Um, and, um, and then, this goes on to, ultimately, to either the grid or my battery bank. Okay, that's basically, um, I'm going to do another video.